Hello everybody. Okay, let me show you what's going on today. Refrigerator. Auto. Off. Gas. Coldest. Nothing's working. I've got no lights. It's not on. We don't have the gas light. Let me tell you what happened. We're driving down the road. We hit a big old bump. This cover right here came off. This is the light. The light came down. There's a little clip right here. Where's that little clip? I can't see it from here. Oh, right here. There's a little clip in here and the light goes between here like that. The light came down. The cover came off. Alrighty. So I go to put it back on. The clips broke so I can't get it back on. So I put a little piece of wire around it. All right, put the wire on. I go to put the cover back on, put it on. The whole thing falls off and click the powers out. Okay, so I got no power. I've got no power here. I got no power here. I put a meter on it. There's zero power. So now we start checking out. So the first thing I did, well, maybe not that order, but let me show you. We're going to go outside. Okay, this is the back of the refrigerator. We have 110 power here. I checked it. I plugged something in. It comes on. I have power here. This is the uh, motherboard for the uh, refrigerator. I took this off. There's a fuse under here. It's a 5 amp fuse. Took it off. Checked the fuse. Fuse is good. Everything else is connected. Everything here is tight. These are tight. That's That wouldn't make it not work. So everything's tight. Everything's Everything down here that I could see is fine. Of course, I'm not a mechanic, so... All right, so inside we go. Okay, these are the circuit breakers. Here's your main. This is for your uh, 110. These are your fuses. This particular one right here is for the refrigerator. I put my um, put my volt ohm meter on it. I ran juice through it. There's little poles right here in these, and you can check and see if it's good or bad. Well, it checked good. I checked every single one of these fuses. Every one checks good. It's not bad. When a fuse is bad, these little red lights right here should come on. None of the little red lights came on. So anyhow, I pulled this fuse out. I figured I'm going to put another one in only because, even though I know it's good, I pulled it out. That red light should have lit. It didn't light. I ran my meter from here to here, from here, this, this screw right here to here, to see if there's a voltage there. There's no voltage here. I check there's no voltage on any of these. So then we took the meter, we put it here, and I put it here. This is the main lines coming in. I have I have 12.5 volts or whatever it was, I don't remember. So I have I have power to this board, but I don't have power down here, and I have no idea why. So that's where we are with the refrigerator. So from there we went up lift that up we went inside here and this is the back of it and I don't see there's no fuses here um, I I checked all the wiring I checked all any connections I could find down here I don't see anything that's off anything that's loose and that brings us to the end of my uh, abilities so we go in tomorrow morning and they're going to Take apart this whole mess and see what is going on. So anyhow, that's where we are with the refrigerator. That, my friends, is the joys of owning an RV. You never know what's going to happen next. All because we had a big, giant bump and the uh, light came down in the, in the refrigerator. So, I'll be back and let you know how I make out with the, uh, with the refrigerator repair people. I'll talk to you in a little bit. The RV has returned home and as you can see the light is lit the gas light we're on gas right now the refrigerator is working yay we took it in on a Tuesday they looked at it on a Wednesday give or take called us and said um, it's going to need a new motherboard we pretty much figured that was going to be the case so they ordered it it took it five days to get it and of course to put it in it was only less than an hour just three screws or three bolts or something that holds it I showed you that a couple of minutes ago 
All right, we get it home. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. I turn it on to see how good it's working. This green light was flashing, and I go, well, the book doesn't tell me anything about the green light flashing, only about the, uh, the gas light flashing. If the gas light's flashing, it means there's no gas or some problem with the gas. So, call them, they said, take it back. Well, it was an hour and a half to go get it, an hour and a half to bring it home. The next morning we get up, we drive, we dri drive out there, drop it off to them and come home. They called us the next day and said, come and get it. And I'm going to take you outside and show you what was wrong with it. Here's the motherboards behind here. And apparently this plug right here, they didn't plug in all the way because when we drove it home, that came out. And that's all they had to do was plug that in but we didn't know that they didn't know it at the time they didn't have anybody to look at it um, you can hear it's running they didn't have anybody to look at it when we got there so what was just a matter of plugging it in we we look I looked at it I couldn't see that it was out I mean I you know it was just out just enough that it didn't work so anyhow that is what is happening with the refrigerator some of you have asked about the bed. We took out the um, we took out one of those uh, spring mattresses, and that is a bed in a box, one hundred and ninety eight dollars or something from um, Amazon, and <laughs> it's one of the most comfortable beds we've ever slept in. Okay, I'm going to show you our next project that we're contemplating. We are contemplating taking out that couch right there because we have no use for it. We don't use it. Um, we'll use it when we watch TV because let me show you. The TV is up there. So it's, it's very uncomfortable to sit here and have to strain your neck looking up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that TV. We're going to take out that couch. We're going to put a um, some type of TV stand right across in here, and we're going to mount the TV right up there, so we'll be able to sit over here. Now, the next thing we wanted to do is we're going to, and we're still working on this because there's an issue. We're contemplating taking out the dinette and putting a lounge chair here, and we we're going to put a lounge chair over there and just a small table between them. But as it turns out, there's an issue underneath of that one. There's uh, electronics are under there. So we were going to raise it up, could raise it up six inches and put the whole thing on a platform. But there's also metal brackets that run on an angle and they're holding um, the house battery boxes underneath. So I don't know how that's going to work. And then the next problem is I was going to put my, uh, we were going to buy some AGM batteries and stick them under here. So if I take this out, I've got no place for AGM batteries for uh, solar panels. Or if I get uh, lithium, I doubt we're going to buy lithium because they're a thousand bucks a battery. So we're still thinking about it. We're contemplating maybe taking a table out and putting something across here, like back there, and just make two, make it look like two lounge chairs right in here. So we will see. So anyhow, that's what's going on with the RV. Um, thanks for checking in. Thanks for hanging out with me. And um, we will see you on the next video. And if you haven't, please subscribe. You know, it doesn't cost anything. It's free. You can follow us, and we appreciate it. All right. Bye-bye.